Tara, speaking of kissing, when do you think, and this might become an X-rated show soon. When As you have your hand on a little girl's back, about to, you say this show is, might become an X-rated show. What the f*** is, what the f***? This is uh, the game show host that kisses kids. Shout out Patrick CC. This is his video. This was dropped a couple of months ago, but I'd never seen this one before, but so we're just going to check it out. All of the content in this video is protected by the Copyright Act of 1976. The intention of this video is to report and criticize the 1980s game show Just Like Mom, which was broadcasted publicly and then rerun 30 years later. Just this video like covers Mom. content that may be perceived as shocking and insensitive, but it is necessary to discuss for educational and documentary purposes. You look like a young lady who likes <laughs> to give lots of hugs and kisses out, do you? You're both very pretty. I think you have green eyes. Blue. Are they? They're not blue. Now don't tell me that. Look at me a little closer. They're green. <laughs> Is this nigga serious? And y'all allowed that, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> Are your eyes green? Boy, are they ever pretty. Wow. Did many boys comment on your eyes? Hugs and kisses. I should have known a sweet-looking gal like you would pick that one. You give out kisses, though, don't you, Stephanie? No. Oh, you don't, too? All right, wait, you like hugging and kissing? <laughs> no kisses? Can I have a little kiss, please? Oh. And y'all let y'all kids go, bro. And what's what's crazy is what's crazy is right. That generation that raised these kids now, mind you, these is kids from the eighties, so their parents had to be born in the sixties, fifty sixties, right? You know what I'm saying? Give them a respectable age. Y'all get on this motherfucker and say we are some of the worst generations you've ever seen, but you're literally taking your kids. Onto a show to get publicly SA'd, publicly kissed and smooched on by a grown ass man and woman. But we're the worst generation. I beg your pardon. Uh, whatever. You got any boyfriends? Yeah, one. One boyfriend? What do you do to when you're alone together? What do you do to? We have so much fun with six year olds on this show. Mm, mm, I don't know if I can finish this. I don't know if I. I what the fuck do you mean? The fuck? You don't have to be afraid of us. That horrifying footage was from the 1980s Canadian game show Just Like Mom. The man hosting the show was named Fergie Olver. You are probably feeling shocked, confused, and appalled at the What up, Simba? Hey, Trayvon, what's good, gang? W tier one, appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? W 22 months. Full proof of pedophilia broadcasted on live TV. How were they able to do this? Why didn't anyone stop this? Did the host go to jail? Today, we are going to dive into the dark past of the worst game show ever made. Ga like what fucking games are y'all playing besides being predators game show you're literally asking little girls if they want to kiss on you and if they got boyfriends and and pre what game what game is in what can game can you possibly involve in this fucking show scarborough ontario a suburb of toronto canada was where cfto tv studios was located the year is 1979 Paul Burford came up with a new idea for a game show that would shock the world, literally. He pitches the idea to his friend Stephen Young, who would be the host of season one. He loves it. In the 80s, kids' game shows were not very popular in America, but Canada seemed to have a vested interest in this genre. The idea was almost exactly like the newlywed game, but with kids and their mothers. Three teams, each consisting of a child and their mother. The children are asked two questions while the moms are backstage. They give an answer, 
then the mom comes on the stage and is asked the same question. Each team gets points when their answers match. Then they have a bake-off, where the kids are given some ingredients to bake something in 60 seconds. Okay. The mothers get a taste test of each one and have to guess which one their child baked. If they fleshed out this part of the game show, it would actually be a fun idea. Maybe. Yeah, that. see that right there? doesn't seem bad so their parents didn't know i don't know i have no fucking clue but see that that's the thing bro that part is not bad like i i i get that where the fuck did the kissing on kids come from we give the kids more ingredients more time to explain what ingredients they're using and why for example this one mother knew it was her daughter's creation because it had a lot of cherries in it you win the show congratulations and why did you take number three because it had the most cherries in it. It had the most cherries in Whoever has the most points at the end gets to spin the prize wheel full of cheap sponsored items with hopes of winning a trip to Disneyland. Season 1 was hosted by Stephen Young and Catherine Swing. Stephen was a lot less creepy than Fergie, but still had some questionable tendencies. Catherine was elected as Miss Canada in 1978. She was an actress and TV personality. In the beginning of each episode, the kids would run up to the host as he demands a hug and kiss. However, for the remainder of the show, at least the ones I could find on the internet, he seems to give the children a little bit more space, isn't always trying to touch them, and just focuses on the game. Steven left the show after season one. Nobody knows why. Season hmm. two is when Canadians all over the country would be introduced to Fergie Over. Fergie was Catherine Swing's husband. They even had two children together. Over was from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. He played minor league baseball in the semi-pro Western Baseball League. From there, he would transition into broadcasting. Once he landed a job at CFTO, he spent the remainder of his broadcasting career with the Toronto Blue Jays, where he was loved and respected. Famous for his catchphrase, how about those Blue Jays? Fergie's whole life revolved around baseball. That's where his expertise was. Sure, he did some commercials here and there, but his only other job was this random game show for children. When he took over for season two on Just Like Mom, things changed a lot. I'm like, I'm just, I'm literally disgusted. I'm like, I'm ge like genuinely, I'm disgusted. The children were no longer running up to the host in the beginning. Still, it was the host's job to greet the kids and make them feel comfortable. Despite his relaxed tone and higher pitched voice, literally none of the kids or their mothers ever looked comfortable. Where did you get that pretty blonde hair? Heck, you don't have to be afraid of us. The like uh, you are you are listen to how you sound and then uh, x bruh you don't have to be afraid oh bitch i am terrified you big predator bitch the fuck you know your husband was creepy bought that creepy ass nigga up on the show come on bro the reason why the kids felt uncomfortable is because they were hold on bro i don't know why this shit keep doing that you don't have to be afraid of us the likely reason why the kids felt uncomfortable is because they were trapped i'm glad you let me share this chair with you this is comfortable up here. For the start of the game, the producers would take the mothers off the set, bring them backstage, and make sure they can't see or hear what's going on. That way they can't hear their child's answer. So the parents didn't know. Oh, these things was creepy. They didn't know until it was fucking over. Wow. ...and cheat to win the game. This was the perfect trap for Fergie and Catherine to take advantage of the children. Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. I should have known a sweet looking gal like you would pick that one. Once the mothers were off stage, the hosts would get very close to the kids. Most of the time, Fergie would have his hand on the backs of these children, or in places we can't be sure of. The children most of the time are visibly uncomfortable. They don't look nervous because what's there to be nervous about? Right. See, why you keep pushing that narrative? You keep, they keep pushing that narrative. You don't gotta be scared. You don't gotta be nervous. Why are you, you got something to hide? And I get it. It's TV. There's an audience. Their mothers aren't around. But if you look through most game shows involving children, the producers want the kids to be as comfortable as possible to get the best results. Where would Aaron say you'd wear a cummerbund? On my waist. On your waist. That way they aren't just staring into space and being quiet. Plus the mothers didn't look at ease either. Aren't game shows supposed to be fun, full of energy, goofy, filled with laughs? The show constantly had dead air, no reactions from the audience, and a creepy vibe that you could feel through the screen. It's almost like these families knew what was going on, but realized it was too late. The funny part about the game was supposed to be how children are unpredictable and will come up with ridiculous answers to these questions, like this one. 
What animal at the zoo reminds you of your mother? A gorilla. A gorilla! Oh my god. However, as time went on, the questions got overly sexual and shockingly inappropriate. Mom has decided she wants to be a playboy bunny. What will... Um, the fuck? Why do you assume the kid? What the fuck? That is actually absurd. I'm not. Uh, that's that's fucking crazy. Mom has decided she wants to be a Playboy bunny. What will Dad say? They were obsessed with the idea of kissing and trying to get kids to talk about sexual things. What would Mom have to do to get a great big sloppy kiss from you? Yeah. All right. Wait. Well, you like hugging and kissing? Yeah, with who? Now I can remember being a child and adults say, oh, do you have a girlfriend? And you kind of giggle and shrug it off. But to be trapped and forced to give an answer, as well as them going deeper. You got any boyfriends? Yeah, one. One boyfriend? What do you do to, when you're alone together, what do you do to? Just talk. You just talk? This is weird. This is fucking weird. Oh my God. And that's all? <laughs> You wouldn't tell me anyway, would you? No. No. Like, what was the goal of these questions? What did you want the kids to say? Hey, really quick, man. We got new merch. New merch for the month of February and a little bit of March. 45 days for these new merch pieces. If you have, you see me probably wearing it in a video. You know what I'm saying? So we got some new merch. There's also another piece in the collection. It will only be available for 45 days. Go, go. Grab yourself. This is some of the best merch I ever put out. And it's never coming back. 45 days. Go check that out, man. Uh, oh, and make sure you like this video before you get out of here. Have a good one, man. Enjoy the rest of your video. Tara, speaking of kissing, when do you think, and this might become an X-rated show soon. When what do you mean by that? As you have your hand on a little girl's back, about to you say this show is might become an x-rated show what the fuck is what the fuck what the fuck when do you think your first kiss will be from a boyfriend at what age we will accept one year either way now we have to address this because there will be a ton of people that comment it was a different time yes it was a different time where less pedophiles were being exposed for their wrongdoings there are very few things on here that can be excused for societal norms being different sure you mentioned how pretty or handsome one of the children are you know what that could be harmless but fergie just took it too far every time are your eyes green boy are they ever pretty wow did many boys comment on your eyes the questions being inappropriate I guess. If your game show relies on sexual questions for kids, then it probably isn't good. I yeah. mean, we know this because the questions that weren't sexual were so bad. Okay. What do you think would be the best fertilizer mom could use on her plants? How the fuck is a kid supposed to know? Bro, this show was never meant for the kids, bro. I'm sorry, bro. The fuck? Like, huh? Spray a spray gun. But absolutely no excuse can be made for kissing a stranger's child on the mouth, especially after they said no. At some point, things got really out of hand. A lot of people reference this clip where someone says, dirty old man. Well, I guess you can't win the show then. If I don't get a hug and a kiss. Yeah, you hear that? In response to his disgusting demands, the woman who said that was actually Catherine Swing his wife and co-host. Wow. His own wife was calling him out on his horrific actions live on television. Even she had enough. She realized how much of a monster he was, yet wow. it still continued. To no surprise, they got divorced shortly after the game show ended. The show ran from 1980 to 1985. Y'all let this bitch run for five years? Dog, for five fucking years? They got divorced shortly after the game show ended. The show ran from 1980 to 1985. 600 episodes. That is 1,800 children featured on this series. A lot of people think very highly of it. In fact, a lot of the episodes posted on YouTube are from people who were featured on the show and remember it as a fun and positive experience. Almost all of them are males which we can tell Fergie was not interested in. Fergie continued broadcasting with the Toronto Blue Jays until he retired in 1992. In 2004, he was nominated for the Ford Frick Award presented by the National Baseball Hall of Fame. 
All the way up until 2017, he worked with the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame and wow. remained a well-respected man among his peers. The show never received any backlash until around 2010 when somebody posted Fergie's crime compilation on YouTube. Throughout the past decade, it's been reacted to by PewDiePie and other reactors and has gone viral on Reddit. SNL even made a pretty hilarious spoof of the show. However, no legal ramifications for wow. Fergie. Nobody has spoken out. None of these kids have come forward to talk about it. There really isn't much information online about Fergie wow. over in general. The only thing I could find was actually someone defending his actions. I was kitchen manager on Just Like Mom. Somebody did a, cl a clever editing job on yeah, a YouTube awful. video that has basically destroyed the man's reputation. Yeah, it's awful. I mean, Fergie was nothing like that. He was friendly he was warm he's loving uh no i mean that is not what they made out of that i, I was shocked and believe Shorty, me. you worked in the kitchen you was not one of those kids you worked in the kitchen you was not one of those kids like are you fucking how you gonna bro you can see it on the kids faces they don't feel comfortable oh I, he's not like that he would know never so what you, you think your pastor is a fucking saint too don't you think he's the next coming to jesus and then you're probably cheating on his wife or praying on your son right now. Stop, bro. People be putting these people on a fucking pedestal. And I'm telling you, people are fucking weird. Never put nothing above nobody. Listen, niggas is weird. They're fucking weird. They're fucking weird, bro. Stop that. Warmy's loving? Uh, no. I mean, that is not what they made out of that. I, I was shocked. And believe me, I would have, you know, reported it. I mean, I think when I was working there, I was like 20 early 20s you, yeah you I, I, yeah you were in your 20s shorty he wasn't checking for you he was not checking for you you was in your 20s he was interested in them kids mind your fucking business shorty reported it i mean i think when i was working there I was like, hmm. nine months is crazy gang and nickas do be weird nickas <laughs> and nickas do be weird they do Hey, W9 months, gang. Uh, early 20s. I, I, I saw nothing like that. Nothing like that. So basically this woman, who was 20 at the time, worked on the production crew, and this was her opinion. So clearly people who worked on the show did not think anything was wrong with this behavior. In fact, the show actually got syndicated on game TV from 2008 to 2010, where they would rerun all these old episodes. And in 2016, they created a sequel called Just Like Mom and Dad, where Catherine Swing was brought on as a creative consultant. Luckily, the 2017 version was not predatory and seemed to be a much better game overall. Kissing on game shows seemed to be a trend in the 80s. Family Feud's original host, Richard Dawson, was very comfortable leaning in for kisses, even if the woman's husbands were right there. Most of these were consensual, and at least the contestants were of age. In fact, some of these women were the ones making the advances. Steve Harvey was never into that. The only kiss he ever gave out was on a woman's hand. Not much defense can be made for Fergie. We all saw what happened. We can all agree that kissing a child on the mouth when they explicitly say no is predatory and illegal. As for now, nobody spoke out against this that was involved and probably never will. Plus, Fergie is a very, very old man now. You can't blame the victims for simply wanting to move on and forget. Wow. It's disgusting and mortifying, but I guess we can be glad it's over and have progressed enough as a society that this will likely never happen again, at least on live television. Jesus. Niggas is, yo, I'm telling you, niggas is weird. They're fucking weird, bro. They're weird, they're weird, they're weird, they're weird, they're weird, bro. Like, come on. Come on, man.